sophomores have been working really, really hard on their theater history work. Uh, these are different plays than you guys worked on. So we chose ten, di seven different plays from the theater history canon. Uh, some of the same genres, some are different genres as you see on your program. I want to shout out to our lighting and sound people. Mateo design, designed the sound for this. Thanks, Woo! Mateo. Woo! Jalen jumped on the lighting. Thanks, Jalen. Alana is jumping on the board as well. Uh, there will be, as you remember, there will be actors on book, actors who might call line. All is okay because this is a showing, right? We are showing what we've been working on this semester. The other thing I want to say is just, are we ready? We're ready to do this? We're ready to be an audience? Uh, the other thing I want to say is just a heads up. Again, there's a little bit of cursing. There's also the use of the N-word in the August Wilson piece. We are not about to change August Wilson's words, but I did want to give you that heads up. Um, what else do I need to tell you? We remember how to be a good audience. Yes, we remember how to be respectful. We clap at the end. We don't shout names. We support where we need, where the actors need support. I know you guys remember this. I'm gonna stop talking and let the first group go. If we go over, I don't know if we will. We might go over. Uh, your teachers know, so obviously you're not going to get up and leave in the middle of someone's piece, but as soon as we're done, if we have time, we'll do a talk back. If not, you will go to your next class. Thank you again for being here, and let's give a hand to the uh, Foundations of Theater class. Woo! Nothing underneath. And with our, our 
triangles, carefully plucked. And the men are all like, Grandma, you can't wait till we can to bed. And then we absolutely refuse. That'll make them make peace soon enough, you'll see. Do you mind how Menelaus threw away his sword when he saw but a glimpse of Helen's breasties? Well, look, what if they divorce him? That wouldn't help them much, would it? It's like Farrakhrae said there would be no more use than seeing the same dog twice. You know what you could do with those imitation dog skin things? Anyway, what if they take hold of us and drag us into the bedroom by force? Cling to the door! And if they hear us, of course, it's to let go. Why, in that case, you've got to be as damned unresponsive as possible. There's no pleasure in it if they have to give force and use pain. They'll give up trying soon enough. And no man is ever happy if he can't please his woman. Oh, if you really think it's a good idea, we agree. And we'll do the same thing and see if we can persuade our men to make peace and mean it. But I don't see how you're ever going to get the Athenian riffraff to see sense. We will, you'll see. Not as long as their warships have sails and they have that bottomless fund of money in Athena's temple. I don't think we haven't seen to that. We're going to occupy the Acropolis while we take care of the sexual side of things, so to speak. All the older women have been instructed to seize the Acropolis under pretense of going to make sacrifices. Good notion. Sounds as if it were. Well then, Lampito, why don't we confirm the whole thing now by taking an oath? Tell us the oath. We'll swear. Well spoken, officer. Stop gobbing and put your shield face down and So, now someone get me the limbs of a sacrificial victim. Mr. Strata, what sort of oath is this you're giving us? Why, the one that Ascalus talks about somewhere. Filling the shield with blood of fleecy sheep. This oath is about peace. You can't possibly take it over shield. What do you suggest then? Well, I think a slaughter of a full-grown cop. You've got a one-track mind. <laughs> I've got an idea. What if we put a big, large black cup on the ground and pour some Tiberian wine blood into it and swear we won't put any water into it? <laughs> That's the kind of oath I like. A cup in a wine jar, somebody. My dears, isn't it a whopper? It turns you up even to touch it. Put the cup down and take out the sacrificial jar. O oh, holy goddess of persuasion, and thou, O oh, lady of the loving cup, receive with favor this sacrifice from your servants, the women of Greece. Amen. <laughs> what lovely by blood, blood, and how well it flows, and how sweet it smells, for by, by castor. Let me take the first oath. I don't want you to go the first lot, and you don't. Lampito and all of you, take hold of the cup. One of you repeat the oath, and the other read signify assent. I will not allow either boyfriend or husband. I will not allow either boyfriend or husband to approach me in an erect condition. Go on. To approach me in an erect condition. Help! See, Strata, my knees are giving away. <laughs> and I will live at home without any sexual activity. And I will live at home without any sexual activity. Wearing my best makeup and my most seductive dresses. Wearing my best makeup and my most seductive dresses. To inflame my husband's ardor. To inflame my husband's ardor. But I will never willingly yield to his desires. But I will never willingly yield to his desires. And should he force me against my will? And should he force me against my will? I will be wholly passive and unresponsive. I will be wholly passive and unresponsive. I will not raise my legs towards the ceiling. I will not oh, raise my legs towards the ceiling. I will not take up the lion on a cheese grater position. <laughs> As I drink from this cup, so will I abide by this oath. As I drink from this cup, so will I abide by this oath. And if I do not abide by it, may the cup prove to be filled with water. If I do not abide by it, may the cup be proved to be filled with water. Do you all join in this oath? We do. We do. do. I'll dispose of the sacred remains. And not all of it, my friend. We should stand like fellow friends do. What was that? What I said we were going to do. The site of Del Athena is now in our hands. Well then, Lampito, you'll be wanting to go and see to your side of business at home. But you'd better leave your friends here as hostages with us.
We'll go on up to the Acropolis now and join the others. The first thing we must do is bar the doors. Won't the men be coming soon to try to get us out? They can try if they like. It won't bother me. Doesn't matter what they try to do. They won't make us open the gates, except by our own terms. No, by Aphrodite they won't. We must show that it's not for nothing that women are cold and possible. Both in either's power, but this swift business 
I must an easy make, lest to light the wind and make the prize light. One word more, sir, I charge thee, that thou attend me. Thou hast, thou dost usurp the name thou owest not, and I'll put thyself upon this island to win it from me, the Lord ought. <laughs> no, as I am man. There's no ill can dwell in such a temple. Follow me. Speak not for me, the traitor. A monacle thy neck and feet together. Sea water shalt thou drink. Thy food shall be the fresh, rough muscles wherein the withered acorn cradle. Follow! No! I resist such entertainment till mine enemy has more power. Ah! Father, please don't make too rough a child for him, for he is gentle, not fearful. What I say, my foot, my tutor, put thy sword up, traitor, who make a show but dare to not strike. Thy consciousness is still possessed with guilt. Come from thy war, for I can hear his army with this stick and make thy weapon drop. Beseech you, Father. Hence, hang out on my garments. Sir, have pity, I'll be assured. Silence! One oh. word more shall make me chide thee, if not hate thee. What, an advocate for an impostor? Hush! Thou thinkest there is no more such shape as him having seen but him in Caliban. Foolish wench, 